Hi, I'm going to show you how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers and vice versa. The computer only understands two states, on and off. So for simplicity purposes, we use 0 and 1 to represent the on and off. When the computer does math, it uses the binary numbering system, meaning it only uses two symbols, 0 and 1, to represent all numbers. When we do math, we use 10 symbols, 0 through 9, to represent all the numbers. So suppose we do math on the computer and the answer is 47. The computer sees the 47 different than we do. What we want to do is convert the 47 to binary so we can see how the computer views that number. In order to convert the decimal 47 to binary, we start by writing some dashes on our piece of paper. Make sure the dashes that there's enough space in between them. The next step above those dashes, we're going to start with on the right hand side, on this side over here, and we're going to write the number 1 to the top, leaving some space in the middle there. So we start with the number 1 and we multiply times 2. 1 times 2 is 2, so here's the 2. Now we multiply times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and we keep writing that those numbers to the left. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64, and we can keep going, but for this example, we'll, we'll stop at 64. Now just to clarify, we used 2 because it's binary and binary means uh, 2 so we multiply every time, we always start with 1 and we multiply times 2 all the way down, we're working from right to left. Now we're going to apply some math. We'll start with 47, with the number we want to convert. We subtract or we minus we start with the first number all the way to the left, it's 64. So 47 minus 64, can we apply that math without getting a negative number? The answer is no. So we're going to put a 0 there. 47 minus 32, can we apply it without getting a negative number? Well, we can, we can get the math there. 47 minus 32 is 15, so yes, we can do that, and we're going to apply a 1, and we just keep going down the line. Now 15 minus, the next number is 16, so we're using the numbers at the top here to subtract. So 15 minus 16, we get a negative number, so we can't, so that's a no. We apply the zero. Fifteen minus eight. Can we do that math? Yes. Answer is seven. Put a one there. So every time I, I say yes, I'm putting a one. If I can't do it because I'm getting a negative number, I'm going to put a zero. 7 minus 4, the answer is yes, and the an answer is 3. Three minus 2 is yes. Okay, whoops, 1 minus 1, yes, we can do that. And that's one. So 47 in binary is this. We're going to ignore the zero there. So it's going to be one, uh, one, zero, one, 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 one is 47 in binary. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to convert a binary number to decimal format. In order to convert from binary to decimal, we're going to use the same 
structure. We're going to use the dashes, we're going to leave some space, and we're going to use the same numbers at the top. Okay, so here's my example. I can ignore the two zeros here. So I want to convert 10101 into decimal. How do I do that? Remember from our previous example, 1 is equal to on or yes, 0 is equal to off or no. So we're going to ignore all the zeros and what we're going to do is concentrate on the ones. For example, this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to take, we're going to focus on those ones and we're going to focus on the numbers right above them. So above the first one is 16. So what we're going to do is we're going to add. The next one is 4 and the next one is 1. And when we add them, we're getting a decimal number and that is our answer. Okay, so now you've learned how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers and decimal to binary. Thanks for watching.